Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Friday, July 10th, 2009. This morning I thought I'd go through using SQLite as an embedded database for a Small Talk application. To get started, let's connect to the public store repository. And you see I'm using VisualWorks 7.7, .7, although I could be using Object Studio 8.2, the same would apply. So I've connected, and now what I need to do is browse the published items. Once that comes up, I'm going to start typing SQL. It's going to find me SQLite EXDI. I'm going to take the latest version here and I'm going to just load that. Now we're using SQLite as the embedded store repository in Web Velocity. So what I've done is I've taken the store repository, the personal.db file from the Web Velocity directory and dropped it into this directory so that I can query it. So once I've done that, I'm going to open up a little workspace here that I've got saved, sqlite.ws, and we'll make this a little bigger. Now the usernames and passwords are kind of irrelevant because this is an embedded database, you just access the file, so you just put in anything for the username, anything for the password. The environment is just the name of the file, which in this case is personal.db, and then you just use standard syntax for accessing a, an EXDI level database. So I use my standard protocol here, connection connect to personal, session, go and do it. So again, that is just an arbitrary password, doesn't really matter. And now I can do things like select everything from TW package, which is part of store. So I'm going to prepare that, execute it, and get an answer. So I'll do that. Now if I take a look at the answer object, you'll find that this is an answer. It's an external database answer stream. And I can query that the same way I normally would. So I'll do answer up to end and inspect it. And you see here I have a bunch of records accessing the store repository and all the work that I've done in Web Velocity for demos and work and such not. So I've got all of that stuff, which means that if you have a small application you want to build and you want to ship an embedded database with it, you could use SQLite as your answer instead of coming up with your own hackneyed solution using BOSS or flat files or what have you. And that way you get most of the security of a database with a well-known API and other people who are working on this, it's used by lots of people, so it's pretty safe. And it's just something that people will understand and accept as pretty safe for their data. So anyway, that's about it for today. Till next time, have fun with Smalltalk.